Wait, How did that feel? Woo-hoo! There's somebody on the floor? <laughs> what? Oh, what? Oh, he's on the floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <dang. laughs> nice try, Heidi. Good try. Yeah. Nice try. Frank, can you do it three-way? Yeah, right here, right now. We'll do it with him. Just put him on speaker. No. So how did that feel? Good. How did it feel in the beginning? Nervous? Yeah, for a second, it and do this very same thing. The first 10 minutes is modeling. The second 10 minutes is doing the work and make it a contest if your team is competitive. Whatever it is, it's gonna motivate your team. May put a Starbucks gift card, put lunch with you. Whatever it is, it's gonna motivate your team on the line, bragging rights for whatever. All right, so if you just need contacts and just make it about contacts. If you need appointments on the books and they need appointments on the books and make it about the yeses. Be selfish. There's nothing selfish really about that as a leader because you're helping them step out of their comfort zone, through the fear, and into the place where our business grows. So, anything else you want to add? Yeah, to? I mean, what you guys just did now, think about if you had six or seven of your associates in a room together doing a training, and you sat them down and did exactly what we just did mm -hmm. with them. If they could duplicate that with That's their powerful. people. This is a, I'm telling you, the way to do it is to duplicate the right behavior. This is the right behavior. What you guys just did now, out of some people's comfort zones, and nervous, uh, anxious, whatever, it's fine. You got over it, you passed it. You can do this all day now if you want, right? It's much easier after you do it a few times. And you do it the right way, and you get good results. Tom, how many, Tom, how many do you have? I got four book, four book to right, So we are gonna divide the room. Yeah. So here's the good news. I gotta say, you know what, the thing I was missing, and I knew it, but I wasn't implementing it, is I put in my why at the very beginning this time. And I wasn't doing that before. And when I told them that because of the work situation, I'm calling you Saturday, and because of Saturday, and I don't have the freedom to talk about this during my work week, I need to tell you things have not gone well in the last couple of years. <coughs> I need your opinion on something I'm diversifying into. Every single one of them said, no problem. Like that word awesome. Wow. Congratulations. Wow. All right, so, yes. So the last little thing I want to tell you, you take this home to your team. I can promise you this is what's going to happen. You're going to have the same thing that came up for you when you did this come up for you when you ask your team to do it to do it when you did in that moment and so just like you step to the other side of it you already know and have found the power you have inside you to overcome that and so just remember this remember this in that moment so you don't just step to the other side of it you blow to the other side of it because they need your confidence in that moment they need to know that they can do it in that moment they're not just going to pick up the phone and start making calls. There's going to be a line of about 12 people who are going to come to you and are going to say, hey, well, help me. There are going to be people who go to the bathroom. There are going to be people, I'm not kidding you, who are on their phone and they're not making contacts, but they are looking like they're busy on their phone. I'm just going to tell you what your teams are going to do. Because they're terrified. Now, thank you for your, the word, terrified. They're terrified. That's everybody starts this business and is absolutely terrified of what that other person's going to think of them, what they're going to say, what they're going to pick up, they're going to pick up the phone. They're scared what's going to happen once they make the contact. And you know why? Because in that moment, they're making it about them. 
If you remember, in that moment, it isn't about me. Mm -hmm. It's about my why. It's about making a difference in their life so they can get their why. And if you just put their why in your heart first before you start something like this, I'm going to promise you, you will absolutely help them transform and you will stand in their face and you won't let them not do it. I'm standing here, you're not going to the bathroom. Why? But tough love is still love. Y'all probably heard, many of you heard that from me. Tough love is still love. Because at the end of the day, you want to help them from push to the other side. So we're going to tally, and we're going to tally, take the room, and we'll take this half like from, is there three rows over there or two? Well, we'll just see who gets to this one first. We'll start at the outside, work our way in. How's that? Yes. What we're going to do is we're going to do, yeah, so we're going to take and we're going to say, how many total appointments did you book? And then we're going to take and say, how many yeses did you get right now? All right, so we'll start over here, and you guys just self-regulate it and go so we can get out of here quickly. How many appointments did you book? Like, how many in this period of time did you get yeses to? And how many total contacts did you make? So I made five total contacts, and I got two yeses, or I got one yes, or I got no yeses. There's no, it's okay. If you got, if you got none, say none. Because we're going to keep, here's the thing, we're going to keep track of this through the event. So we're going to keep adding to this tomorrow. You just started a process that will finish tomorrow. So if they said call them back in the hour, they'll give them if they, time. That's an appointment. That's yes. If you have a time, that's an appointment. Yes. All right. That's right. Are you tracking calls versus text messages? No. Contacts. Total contacts. Whether it's a call or a text. Doesn't matter. How many people did you contact? How many individual human beings did you contact? And then how many appointments do you have booked that somebody you're calling, whatever, you got something set up with them. Okay. Alright, so Terry, start over here this one. Okay? Oh, T. Oh, you're... I'll start by saying. Okay. Are we just, are we just tallying up that we've already done? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's five. Five to five. Plus two more than that. Oh, so that's two. So three contacts. This one was two contacts. Two contacts on one, yes. Yeah. Okay. Two contacts, no more. Four contacts, two appointments. Okay. I'm going to record. Awesome. Good job, guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
know, but they just didn't have time yet. Or it was like up in the air still. So the people actually said no. They haven't gone back to the blog. Well, again, you contact the 10 people and uh, seven didn't answer or the messages or whatever. So it's not like they said no yet. Right. Don't, don't cut them off your list and say they didn't answer. They're off. That's why you write your list down. You can write a little note next to it saying, I called them from the, from the uh, leadership and left the message. I'm going to contact them Monday and follow up again. So don't give up. All right. So, guys, we have Joel and Addison tonight at dinner. So, you're going to 6 o'clock tonight. We have the book signing and we have the welcome, the reception. Sorry, 6 o'clock is the book signing. For those of you who are in the book signing, we know who you are. And then at 7 o'clock, round 3, we will start dinner. And then during dinner is when you will hear, hold on, here's what you'll hear. Y'all hear what you hear now? Okay. Yeah. Now, a little bit. You're going to hear from John Addison, the one and only John Addison, one of the greatest human beings I respect on this planet. Absolutely. We'll give you the nuggets tonight to transform anything in your life, in your business, as a parent, as whatever you want. Whatever you want out of this weekend. I want you just to go in even more intentional than you come into this event tonight, seeking intentionally what you need from tonight. And you'll hear it as a part of this message. Whatever it is, I, just, I know it from years of doing this. If you know what you're looking for, you'll find it. The answer's already within you. He's just going to trigger something that's going to make you remember that you are. You're also going to hear news about seven months and seven years. Yeah.